There's an amazing and inspiring student at Santa Ana High School who needs some help so that he can run. And the main problem is that due to a childhood illness, he has no legs. Angel Rivera is a saint that has made a real impact on people throughout his school and his life. What Angel needs now are prosthetic legs or blades that you may have seen helping runners to compete in the Paralympics. And a $30,000 grant for two running blades has already been made through the Challenged Athletes Foundation. Ron Merritt of Human Design has also volunteered to do the continuing work. The difficulty is finding the funds for the custom sleeves that will connect to Angel's remaining limb stems and the liners and molds which will cost another $20,000. My name is Juan Angel Rivera. Um, I come here at Santa Ana High School. I am a junior. And the thing I like about the school is that they give us like many opportunities that we can we can take towards towards our education and fundings. And I just like the fact that it just gives us opportunities to like advance in our education. Well, the reason why I wanted it is because I would see people run, and from what I'm wearing, the prosthetic legs that I'm wearing, it doesn't give me the ability to run, but it gives me like to, the ability to walk to places where I need to go. And the reason why I think it'll help getting the running legs is so I could get to places quicker, and so I could also get the feeling on how it feels to run. Well, in our criminal justice class, we're, we're like studying the law, and the psychology of people and what makes them do the what makes them do like certain things and like some theories on why that could be. John Douglas in 1997, he created and managed the FBI's criminal program. What, what kind of career path are you thinking about taking based on the things you've learned and done so far? Well, I might be doing law enforcement or biological engineering, bio, biomedical engineering. So I'm Kelly Schroeder and I teach anatomy here at Santa Ana High School. And one of the greatest things that came to me this year was Angel. Uh, Angel, I call him my hero. I watch his skills and his determination to be successful at everything. And teaching anatomy, I was a little worried about how he would integrate into class and how he would fit in when I was talking about parts of body that he doesn't even have. And to watch his determination and his attitude and all that he takes on is, um, I have the chills. He is my hero. He's an amazing young man and the world is his oyster and I would love to see him succeed. The people here, the students and my friends, they made me feel welcomed, like if I was like part of their life. He always shows a great example of how to be like basically positive and always sh being there for people and people always uh, being there for him. Angel has been really a bright shiny light uh, on campus here and to see him kind of blend in and to see the way uh, the kids here at Santa Ana High School treated him was extraordinary and that doesn't just happen a lot of times people that are completely healthy and, and have legs and arms and all those types of things they, they do a lot of complaining including myself. Hi I'm uh... Commander Tom Osick, the Senior Naval Science Instructor at Santa Ana High School. And um, I've had Angel in my unit, both as a freshman and sophomore year. What, what I noticed about Angel was that he is simply a absolutely normal behaving young man, uh, doesn't feel sorry for himself, doesn't want sympathy from anyone, uh, doesn't want to be treated differently than anyone. Uh, he, He's uh, uh, kind and, and uh, respectful to everyone. He's an outstanding young man, and, and uh, his parents should be really proud of themselves for, for what, how, what they've done to this young man who lost arms, all of his arms and legs, and, and, but 
has no, doesn't want your sympathy and doesn't expect any special favors. He's just um, unique in that way, I think. A lot of times he talks about how lucky he is to kind of have the friends he does here and, and the way he's treated here at Santa Ana High School. But I say just the opposite. We're lucky to have Angel because of, of the way he responds to um, his disability and, 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 and the environment that he is placed in time. He just, like I said, he's, a, he's an extraordinary young man and anybody that really knows Angel um, would certainly be more apt to kind of help him in his goal of getting prosthetics that actually allow him to run. What are some of the things that kept you feeling positive when things didn't look great sometimes? Like, what did you do inside to make you feel like, I can do this, I don't care, I'm, I'm gonna do this? Well, I would take in like all the negativity that I think will not benefit me. And I take that and I embrace it and I just do what I best can possibly do. If you or anyone you know would like to help, you can contact Santa Ana High School or Google Let's Get Him Running, Angel Rivera, to find the GoFundMe site that will get him the running legs he needs. The wings will be up to Angel, but never doubt that if he decides to fly, he will.